Hi friends, welcome to Guru YouTube channel. This channel is about education and technological purposes. If you not subscribe, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Program is a write of functions to implement a string operation. First, calculate the length of the string, compare the two string, concatenate a two string. These are very important uh, functions. We have to design these functions. Now I will see the first one how to calculate the length. Now to calculate the length we need a string. Just I will consider a, a string called as a A. String is nothing but collection of uh, uh, characters, right? Collection of a characters represent just consider something like as a India. This is a string. Normally we can say it as a string, but in a C language, whenever we will say it as a string, each string should end with a backslash zero. This is a delimiter or say termination conditions we can say string always end with a backslash zero if there is no backslash zero we cannot say it as a string in a C language the string is always represented whenever we will read the string compiler automatically assign the backslash zero with the index value called as a 0 1 2 3 4 5 right always the string string is nothing but array of the characters start with a zero and end with a uh, one more than that of the length of the string right then how to calculate the length of this particular string what is the length one two three four five length of this particular string is a five uh, we can say but how can we calculate then what what we have to do we, we will consider a i i as a the indicator which can calculate the length of the string i will assign it as a starting with a zero right later each and every time in the sense that i is <coughs> i is assigned with a zero then we have to update the i value each and every time until it will reach to the backslash zero right first check the i check the i position means whether a of 0 nothing but a of i is equal to backslash 0 check it here is it a backslash 0 no then update the i value is it a backslash 0 no then update the i value like that we have to update is it a backslash 0 yes a of a 5 a of 5 is equal to a backslash 0 then we can stop the operation here only whenever you will stop the operation here at that point i value whatever it is holding here this is nothing but the length of that particular string just check it here how to write here we have to check each and every time whether that particular i the position of the array is it a backslash zero we have to check what we have to check a of i value is not equal to backslash zero if it is not equal to backslash zero if it is not equal to backslash zero increment the i value increment the i value right we have to write it in a <coughs> write it in a while loop right what it will do check here while a of i is not equal to backslash zero a of zero is not equal to backslash zero yes true then we are incrementing i I will move to here I will move to here when the I will move to here a of 5 is is not equal to backslash 0 no it is backslash 0 then at the time uh, it will come out of that particular value then I value here it is a 5 which is nothing but length of the string length of the string right this is a calculation of the length of the string now second second case is or the second function is that comparing the two strings right how to compare the two string just consider a string one string two now what is the possibility of a compare comparison if the both the strings string one it, it may be equal to string two or string one which is greater than a string two or 
string 1 which is less than a string 2 these are the three conditions we have to see right <coughs> cases are that if we'll consider ram string 1 string 2 raj at the, at this point then later ram ram and raj ram these are the three conditions right so one two three this is a equal this is a second condition it is a third condition how can we say how can we say whenever we consider this <coughs> i told you always the string which should be end with the backslash zero right then how can we calculate here just i will consider it as a i the indicator j the indicator 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 whenever you will store the storage is like this only right then what what we have to do a comparison occurs here sorry it should be i also this is also i this is also i what we have to do we have to consider string 1 of ith value string 2 of ith value if you consider a string 1 this string 2 this right string 1 of i and string 2 of i we have to consider right if both are equal for all the elements then we will say it as a equal this is first condition later in the second condition represent m ascii value of m is greater than ascii value of j then string 1 is a greater than that of the string 2 then here string 1 is less than a string 2 because m is a greater than j no then at that point string 2 will become uh, higher okay here all the values will be satisfied with the uh, all the value of a string 1 with all the value of a string 2 then both are equal here it is a string 1 is a greater string 2 is a greater both are equal then how can we perform here here we have to do we have to do string 1 of i is not equal to backslash 0 this is a termination condition up to this we have to do the operation right i for each and every iteration we are considering a string 1 whether a string 1 is a backslash 0 no then do the per, do the operation what what is the operation should be carried there if if string 1 of i which is greater than string 2 of i right what, what is here string 1 of i is greater than string 2 of i these conditions m is greater than 2 here in this in the first case which return a 1 return 1 second case is in the sense set if string of 1 of i is less than string of 2 of i then return minus 1 return minus 1 okay otherwise i plus plus increment i value closes one right what happens here just i will take a one example consider this string of 1 is string of 1 of i is not equal to slash 0 i is a 0 here st1 0 is not equal to slash 0 yes at that point compare here str1 of i is greater than str1 of j this and this comparison is it a greater no they are equal at that point i plus i will be incremented i will move here again comparison with the a again i will move here let us consider str1 of i is what is that m which is greater than st2 of i j m is greater j or ascii value of m is greater than ascii value of j at that point it will return 1 right like that for considering this one i will be incremented and at the end of the string of i is compared with the backslash 0 both will become equal it will terminate here whenever it will terminate here return return 0 you have to do you have to uh, return here right return 1 for this where string 1 or say string 1 is greater than uh, string 2 equal 
when it is equal return 0 will execute when it is string 1 is less than a string 2 return minus 1 here it is a concatenation attaching a one string with other in our example i will attach a string 2 to the string 1 what is in a string 1 ram no i will attach a raj to this when i will attach what what will become string 1 ram raj right it will become like that then what to do i will take 0 1 2 3 as a, these are the index values again 0 1 2 3 these are the index values what i will do i will take i here and i will update the i value to terminate the backslash 0 in the concatenation r value should goes to here in the backslash 0 later later a value should go to the next of that j value should go to the next of that like that right i will consider a stair one here what i will make here i will increment the i value to indicate to the last number at that point what i will do i plus plus i plus plus in instruction i will use i plus plus whenever i will use it will move i value will move to the next next values right for the reason while i will use while uh, str of 1 which is not equal to backslash 0 up to that you have to increment whenever this code is executing means i value is moving and i is incrementing i value is indicating to the last position right after the execution of this i is indicating to the number 3 or say index value of 3 right so just i will consider here r a m 0 1 2 3 right i value is indicating here then what i will do just i will consider a j which is started with a 0 then i will move the string 2 of a jth value to the string 1 right at that point uh, what i will do string 2 of a jth value i will move to the string 1 of i what is the i here third position what is the j j here zeroth position right i will move the zeroth position zeroth position of the string to the ith position of string 1 right then i will increment the i value and i will increment the j value also whenever i will increment the i value i is pointing to the 4 here j is pointing to the uh, 1 here again i will move here a again i will increment the i value i is pointing to here 5 j is pointing to here uh, 2 right j then when uh, jth value will become a backslash 0 when the jth value will become the backslash 0 we have to stop the operation lastly we have to append a backslash 0 to the end of the string 2 okay this is a code j initialized to 0 string 2 of j is not equal to backslash 0 up to this you have to calculate at that point every time i should be incremented by 1 j should be incremented by 1 string of string 2th value should be moved to the string 1 of i right when we will execute this code i is pointing to this right start here j is equal to 0 you are initialized as j as a 0 here then string of 2j is not equal to backslash 0 yes it is a r not a backslash 0 at that point you move a string 2 to j string 2 of a j to the string 1 of i what is the string 2 of a j j is a 0 move to the ith position later move to the ith position later move to the i position repetitive operation is carried by for i should be incremented by 1 j should be incremented by 1 lastly string 1 should be end with string 1 of i should be end with the backslash so that is nothing but we have to append this here until unless you will not append it is not a string at all okay this is a code core code of concatenation dear friends now we will discuss the program regarding a string operation first of all it is a length of the string calculation comparison of a two string and concatenation means attaching one string with the other string these are the three operations we are carrying by our user defined function not with the built-in function by user by using our defined function so these are the header files we have to include string library string dot h um, standard library standard io dot h 
next these are the user defined functions we are using in our program okay now we will start with the main program void main character 1 is a e char e of 100 b of 100 is represent uh, declaration of a two strings a and a b then integer result options we are using in our program clear the screen do while we are using here for the repetitive operations first of all we have to display this list what is a list list one is uh, first option length of the string calculation string comparison string concatenation and terminate the program why we are using here terminate we are using a do while <coughs> now enter your cho choice after the display of this you have to enter the choice one of these one two three four of these is you have to enter one of these that will be stored in a option variable option you are using a variable it is stored your option will be stored in the option variable it's a flush all right in the sense that old value will be erased here <coughs> option here we are using one of the this is a given list to display any one we are using a switch here switch of the option if the option you are given here as a one one case one will be executed two case two will be executed three case three will be executed so here in the switch operation uh, we are using three cases here right fourth one is a break right these are the three cases we are using here right what the case one represent here case one is nothing, nothing but a length of a string calculation then <coughs> in the length of a string calculation uh, one message will be displayed here right enter a string after that user will enter a string that will be stored in a a string right that will be stored in a, a string by using a get s function get a string represent you are reading a string value and which will be stored in a a later length of a, a you are executing represent this is a function call function call in the function call you are sending a a string to the length function after the length function calculation it will return a value that will be assigned to the result variable right this function is taking the value, performing the operation, sending back the results, sending back the result that will be assigned to the result. Here equal to sign is there. Equal to sign represent. It will return a value that will be assigned to result. That will be assigned to result. Okay. Now what the length you are sending a, a string to the length. What is the calculation we will see there. Right length function where is the length function here is a length function right what it will perform int length character star right you are sending there str is assigning a a string you are sending that will be assigned to str string right okay here in a int i is equal to zero declaring here what is the length calculation of a length of string in the particular a string right what you are doing here here it is a string i is not equal to backslash zero what it represent until unless this will be achieved you are incrementing a i value i is initially a zero you are checking the zero position string value whether is it a backslash zero no at that point again update a i plus plus again you are checking here whether the uh, string of one is not equal to not equal to backslash zero backslash zero is representing end of the string right you are checking here end whether the string each each time you are operating i value you are checking whether the end occurred or not when it is occurred the end at that point while loop will terminate you are returning back a i value right you are returning back a i value so the i value will hold length of the string after achieving this condition right you are returning this i to the main function where you are called here we called a function you are returning a i value that i value will be assigned to the result now the result will become a, a length of the string so you have to display length of the percentage just is equal to percentage t 
nothing but length of a string a is equal to result you are displaying here you will get the output and break here right if the option is a one if the option is a one if the option is a two it is a what is the option is a two it is a comparing a two string for comparison you need a two string first display message then after that you read a first string by using a get yes function later display the second message again read a second string compare a comma b you are sending a you are sending a ab string to the compare function which is returning a value stored to the result according to the result you are performing or deciding okay here so what is a compare operation or see compare string is doing there we are going here right comparison right in the comparison what happens string 1 and string 2 you are assigned with the a and a b i is equal to 0 you are assigned initialized with the i is 0 while a string of i means first string up to first string backslash 0 you are doing the operation right it is a termination condition right it is a termination condition if string 1 of i is greater than a string 2 of i right in the sense that comparing a first string characters with a comparing a second string characters if a first string character is a greater than that of a second string characters which is occurred by using a ascii value right then it will return a one when it will return one when string one is greater than string two return one when string one is less than a string two return minus one otherwise increment the i plus plus in the sense that in a comparison occurs here two string may be equal right if it is greater one choice if it is less one choice other than this if they will be a equal at that point return a zero return a zero right if it is a equal both are equal and you are checking here for the backslash zero for any one string string one of i or string two of i can be valid but we are considering here as a string one right so the compare of compare function will return one when first string is greater will return a minus one when second string is greater otherwise zero when it will return uh, it will return when the function the strings are equal according to the result value that will be assigned to the result if the result is a zero both are equal if the result is a one first string is greater than second string otherwise first string is less than second string next is a third condition it is a concatenation concatenation in the sense that attaching a one string with the other string first reader string second string reading then calling a concatenation function here calling concatenation function then you, you, if you are calling this one the control will move to the concatenation here you are sending there are two strings string one is taking a a string two is a taking a b value then you are taking a i and j two variables for operation i is a zero while string one is not equal to backslash zero i plus plus why we are doing this one we have to move a i value at the end of the first string later we will move all the characters of the second string to the first string only right this operation will do move the i value at the end of the string one later second second string values each of j well in the sense that each of the characters of the j, uh, second string is moved here to the first string attaching with the already presented first string uh, until the second string ends here because here i plus plus is operation and this is a very important uh, operation or say it's a very important instruction where string one of i is equal to backslash 0 means every string should end with a backslash 0 then only we will consider it as a string otherwise it is not a string at all in a c program okay then you are attaching a backslash 0 <coughs> then a string 1 will hold string 1 value also string 2 value also right this operation which will again go back there they mentioned the inter return value but here we are not taking any values at all it will give you uh, some what do you say uh, some warnings don't worry about the warnings print 
a value right because we have stored a b string into a a string only so we have to display a value so break here other than a one two three if any uh, if any uh, options you are giving here uh, it's a invalid choice then if you are given a four it will end here right it will end here and function will end here right always the c program function will start in a void main again it will end in here a void main only in between the control will move to the functions here okay execute now one warning because of returning this one one warning don't worry about it run it okay enter a choice right just i will enter a one sorry enter a choice and let enter a one enter the indian right length is a six okay enter a choice two string comparison right india and america right so first string is get greater than second string first string i is greater than a right ascii value of i is greater than ascii value of a so first string is greater so let it is a three one concatenation here india america which is concatenated enter the four is a termination okay thanks for watching this video please like share subscribe to this channel and post your suggestion in the comment box